the reaction that Terry and I got everywhere we went on a daily basis, when people saw me and him, first of all, they always said, you guys must be brothers. You must be brothers. And after all day, every day trying to tell people, no, we're not brothers. Finally, we just said, you know, I guess we just better accept the fact that they think we're brothers. Let's say we're brothers, you know, both with the blonde hair and the mustache and the thing. And that's where the brother thing started. Okay, yeah, we're brothers. We're brothers. We're brothers. And then just the, the reaction of everybody. We, we were monsters after we came out of Cocoa Beach, 14 months in the gym, six days a week. Twice a day. Now, now Brutus, that, that's a great story. They were kind of skipping over. You and Terry left Tampa and went over to Coco and started a gym or somewhere in that area, yeah, right? Yeah. Now, built, tell us a little bit about well, how, what brought that on. We built a gym. Uh, Terry knew a, a guy who owned a club over there because his rock and roll band traveling all over the South. It was called the Anchor Club. It was a very popular place. They had uh, mainstream uh, rock and roll bands that played there. And it was right on the beach. And Whitey, his name was Whitey Bridges. And Whitey told Terry, hey, if you ever want to do something, you know, give me a call. Maybe, uh, you know, I'll help you do, I'll help you set something up. So Terry called him. So boom, we drove over there. He had the bar. Terry worked the bar. I worked the door. So we're working. We got an apartment. We went to, we had, Whitey had a Winnebago. We drove down to Miami. They had a York barbell warehouse there and we filled the Winnebago up with weights and bars and everything and then we went back to Cocoa Beach and Whitey had a welding tools and all kind of stuff so we we re actually just built our machines our leg machines our, our, our table machines bench presses squat racks we built it all made a little gym Nobody worked out there. We lived in Cape Canaveral, right at the edge of Cape Canaveral. They had just defunded the Cape, so it was a ghost town. But we had a place to work out, and that's what we did. We ran the little gym and worked out twice a day, every day. Didn't have a drop of alcohol. <laughs> Ate everything we could find, everything in sight every day. We, we'd go eat pancakes, a stack of pancakes this big. How, how, were you, so how were you surviving with the rock and roll band or what? No, we just, we worked a bar. You worked a bar, okay. Yeah, so I, I worked the door. He worked a, he worked inside. So it, it paid, and Whitey helped us with it, paid for the apartment. And he paid the rent for the gym. And so we made a little money on the gym. That just fed us, you know, because we're, you know, I went from 180 pounds. Okay to 255 pounds. Wow. <laughs> and Terry went from 255 pounds to 320 pounds. Oh, my gosh. And in let what, me tell in you. what time frame? 14 months. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> 70 so, yeah, and you guys were out, totally out of the business at that time, too, right? No, yeah. All we did was train yeah. twice a day. Every day, like, like, savage. so when did the light come for you to get back? Say, I, I want to get back in the business. Well, I, I had never broke in. Terry, Terry <laughs> decided he, he was in contact with Bob Roop, and, and Bob always says, When you're ready, I'll make the call for you to, to Barnett. And so, after we were monsters, he said, Okay, let's let's go for it. And he called Bob, and Bob hooked up the deal so we could meet and we flew to Atlanta or whatever, met, met Barnett. He took one look at us and said, yeah, we were going. And then they, they renamed us Dizzy Golden and Sterling Golden. That <laughs> was, was, that Barnett's, that, was that Barnett's name? Uh, the golden name? Uh, that's the one he gave us. For, for those, a while. Are, those are terrible names. Oh, this <laughs> is, oh, can you imagine being Dizzy Golden? You know, I mean, oh my God. That's how I went to Louisiana as Dizzy Golden. Hey, hey, just a question about training. You guys were training back then because you guys were massive. I mean, huge guys and ripped. You didn't do much cardio back then, did you? So when you're training twice a day, what was your splits on that? Were you training, uh, like, say, everybody part three times a week? Were you What, what were what yeah. Was your training? Yeah, we were training, uh, well, training uh, one body part 
you know, in the morning, one at night, and, and then three days, a every day three, off, every three, three days. days, a day off, three days, a day off. So we wouldn't really just take one day off, just whatever it turned out to be. But the, um, the I mean, this was an old school. We we made all the equipment. So there was, it was no frills. The cable machines, it's all metal on metal with some grease on it, sliding up and down and, you know, stacking 45s. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing dips with a, the chain around my waist with two or three 45s hanging from my waist. I'm doing dips and uh, we're trying to do uh, push downs. And, and Terry's got to hold me by my weight belt in the back. Cause I got more weight than my, than I weigh on, on the machine pushing down 250 pounds on the machine. I didn't wait. I weighed 200 or something, you know, as we were, we just kept getting stronger and stronger. I mean, we were both right up at, uh, near the 500 mark on the bench squatting 500 all day. Cause we, we did a lot of leg work and we used to do squats sets of 20 with 315, like nothing. Yeah, sets of 20 with 315. And, you know, eventually I did a set. We would do sets of 10 with 500, the bar bending on your back. And we were, you know, one arm dumbbell presses with a hundreds seated. <laughs> I only weighed, I only weighed 240 and I'm doing uh -huh. the hundreds. Terry's a little bigger. I mean, he was 300 pounds. He's, he's using the hundreds. He out, you know, he had a lot of weight and size on me but i had you know a lot of drive and, and and was you know and always pushing pushing him to do more to do more to do more and and you know what it it paid off because pushing him so hard push myself so hard put us to that position where we they gave us opportunity and once we got the opportunities you know start doors started opening